at the Great Plains no-till drill out of retirement saddens me I, I mean I spent a good bit of money on this and uh, it's just rusting away sitting outside it's sad I got I hate spending a bunch of money on things and then them just rusting away and going to crap I have another carport coming uh, I'll be able to store my planners and some equipment in there uh, until the situation gets resolved with the the other morons that had my building collapse but yeah i'm gonna wd-40 everything up grease everything and uh, get my planter set up to plant some hay seed i'm trying to get in the field today and plant some timothy alfalfa mix uh one of the things that i need was all these hoes i've never used the small gra um, seed box for grass seed box um, I've only used the uh, large seed box. So, all these hoses, a bunch of them weren't connected or broke off or too short. Um, all these cups were full of spider webs and stuff. So, I took all the hoses off and a lot of them were, you know, just full of stuff. So, seed wouldn't even fall down through anyways. But this heater hose right here is pretty flexible. Um, it's it's durable. It's got uh, you know, it's pretty thick Pretty thick hose um, and it's got fabric it woven in it um, 5 8 inside diameter and then I got I have some of the clamps from the planner and I bought some new hose clamps but Basically 51 inches is what I measured the there was like a couple still connected measured them 51 inches i'll hook up i cleaned out all those cups up there so we should be good to go i'm gonna put these cut these hoses put them on clamp them and uh, hopefully we'll be ready to go to the field after i grease a couple things got the new hoses on the grain drill i used heater hose i got it advanced auto it was actually cheap up in the lid of the large box, it gives you your seed ratings. So I'm planting uh, 18, 18 pounds to the acre. This is a Kootenai uh, Timothy grass. I did a 70-30 mix. Your co-op will, co will mix it for you, usually free of charge. I saw some people online were mixing them in a garbage can. Uh, they'll mix it for you and bag it. So I got a 70-30 mix alfalfa Timothy. Uh, 70 Timothy Kootenai and then 30% uh, is legendary alfalfa she said it holds the leaf better um, for dry hay after tedding and stuff first pass is done around the field seeing seeing seed in all the furrows Like it might rain but it's not supposed to so all right i sprayed about four days ago planting now seeds coming out seems like the appropriate rate i got it opened up to 85 on the small seed box Seeds coming out of all the new tubes, so that's a plus. And uh, I don't have to do my military now, I guess, so I'll be able to have a few more days to plant. So I should get done by this weekend. The field's dying down, all the weeds are starting to wilt and brown up. So, good 
shape. All right. Yeah, baby. Two C-130s over my field out of Youngstown. America. Oh yeah, baby. All right, it's me and Mason. He's grabbing, picking up rocks for me and helping me out. We're planting. Got to get this done already. I got to go out of town. So we got to get this rolling. And I have to work all week. The weather's nice today. Of course, we always have stuff to do. Uh, having Father Day, Father's Day, because we won't be here next weekend. So we're just planting. Mason. This little backfield is planted. It's nice to have uh, the accomplishment feels so good to be done with it. Um, yeah, she's planted. Timothy and Alfalfa. driving he's actually planning first time he's got he's learning what all the pedals do yeah there you go doing good keep it right on there he's keeping the front tire right on the planter tire track all right Deeper to the left a little. There you go. Mason and June are in front of us picking up rocks. Well, they're just going around. They just happen to be in front of us right at the moment. Saul's with me picking up rocks that they don't get that we come up on. And we are planting. It looks like crap out, but it's not raining. It's sprinkled a little bit, but we're still dry and we are still planting. It looks like it could rain, but it's not supposed to, so keep on rolling. Saul's filling the seed up. 
Topping us off. Timothy and the pink is alfalfa. Now I got Jude. Now all three three boys have been in here. They were in the side by side picking up rocks. My no-till coulters are starting to stick. I mean, they don't have their sealed, so I can't really grease them. Hit them with some WD-40. Mason and Jude kicking the dust up. The row fits perfectly in the middle of it. Yeah, it's almost like I planned it. It's like a perfect fit. Planner tire to planner tire. I know you can't see because it's so dang dusty. <laughs> Ridiculous. But at least it's not wet and I can't plant. Last pass of the long part of the field. Super dusty. Picked up a million rocks, literally. <laughs> oh, last pass out here. What a mason found. Deer antler. Thank God it didn't find my tire. We're on the last pass. I'm about out of seed. We're only going two miles an hour. So Jude is moving the seed to keep, uh, keep it in the cup. Rock pickers out. Oh yeah, I saw got the big boy. Woo! Yeah, baby. All right, now I got two rock pickers. Mason and Saul. We're in my big field. This evening we just celebrated Father's Day, even though it's next week. And uh, now we're planting. Try to get as much done as we can because we are on a time restraint. My field is done. Felt like it was never ending, but we are all planted. Mason's picking up a couple last rocks that came up. I'm gonna grab this one. This, he's filled this bucket about four times now. There's over a ton of rocks there. It's nice, I'll be able to sell all that. We have a huge pile from the last couple of years, but whole field. 30 acres here planted we have one field left down the road after we finish the drain tile that's like over halfway complete we could plant that one in probably under two hours and we'll be done 
but feels good the big field's done we're gonna need some rain to get this going all right all right we're to the last field uh we dissed this earlier mason backfilled the the trench down to where the mini's at we, got, we still have some work to do at the end where the outlet pipe is but uh he backfilled all the tile trenches the three tile trenches i dissed it earlier and now we're planting last field hopefully get it done there's some calling for some rain showers either tonight or tomorrow so that'll be good timing uh this is only about five acres roughly of that four or five so we're gonna knock it out real quick a lot of rocks in this field we almost have probably three quarters two-thirds full bucket field plant real nice now that we have that drainage in here i was able to get in that area that we never can uh i got another bag of seed but i might not really need it definitely won't need all of it but i'll keep some fill in any areas that need it um last field though feels good to be done looking nice mason's checking the seed we're getting low All right. we are all planning done planning for 24 last hay field here timothy and alfalfa we got almost a three-quarter bucket full of rocks out of this field i gotta finish up the last part of the drainage down here and uh yeah we're done planting at least good thing because i'm heading to london tomorrow